This gigantic building here behind me is the world's second largest administrative building, losing only to the Pentagon in the USA. This is Romanian's Parliament House. In last year, when I was here in Romania for the first time, I couldn't get inside. I could only get inside the museum they have back there, which was not so interesting because it was just a tiny little part of this gigantic building. However, right now, we can actually get inside, buy a ticket and explore, see how magnificent this megalomaniac building is from the inside. At the beginning of the tour, it was kind of like the airport, so I had to go through the security guards and they scanned my bag to see if there was nothing wrong there. And after that, the group got together and the tour guide took us inside. One thing that caught my attention was that every single room was beautiful because in some public buildings, they might be big, but once you get in there, it's a regular building full of desks and regular paintings on the wall. But in the parliament, it was different. It felt more like in a castle because when you visit Pelish Castle, for example, in Romania, everything is beautiful there because it was royal family. They wanted to show how sophisticated and rich they were. And the same thing happens inside the parliament. So it doesn't even feel like a government building. One of the first things they showed us there was the theater that they have inside of the parliament. And even though they barely use it, it still is like top five or top 10 most beautiful theaters in the entire country. And everything is fancy and expensive there. All of the seats, they are leather seats and they have a chandelier on the top that is incredibly beautiful and it weights around five tons. So they need the person to go up there from the inside and clean it from time to time. Last year when I came here to Romania, I didn't take the tour inside the parliament. I just went to the museum they have on the back. I think they were not taking tours at the time. And I didn't know that I was going to be on a tour here today. I came here to take a few photos from the outside and turns out I saw that they had a tour and decided to come here and take a look from the inside. And I'm so surprised because it's incredibly beautiful. Uh, everybody knows that the parliament is huge, gigantic, because we can see that from outside. But once you come here, I heard from the tour guide that it takes you 20 hours to see every single room of the parliament. So they are taking us on a guided tour that will last around one hour and everything here is beautiful, is amazing and I can't stop wondering how many millions and millions of euros they spent building this place. I know that they spent uh, more than a decade to finally complete the construction but about the budget, oof, that's a big question because I don't think it's cheap to build a place like that. And to be honest, do they really need so much? And the best was yet to come because in the last stage of the tour, they took us to the ballroom, which was the most beautiful one they had there. And they still using that for events. So basically, if you are a Romanian politician, or an incredibly rich person from Romania with the right connections, you might actually get an invitation to one of the events they hold there, which would be cool. So after one hour walking around inside the parliament, I was told by the tour guide that we only got to see 3% of the place. So that's how gigantic this place is. I know that they burned a lot of public money and as I said before, there was no reason to make a place that big, but communist dictators, well, they want to show how big and strong they are. So they use it to make gigantic things just for their egos and just to try to show power and dominance against other countries. However, I can't lie that I enjoy it. I mean, it's terrible for the Romanians that they use their money, their hard earned money for that instead of for other things that would be more beneficial to people there. However, a few decades later, we can come here and enjoy as tourists, which is an amazing place. I only paid like $12 to get inside and it's one hour tour, it's, it's worth it, definitely. And here, the parliament is very well located, so from here, you can go to Ateneo, you can go to the city center and do more other things. 
when you're traveling around Romania. So that's my suggestion. Uh, make sure to come here, to come to Romania and get ready to walk because this place is just gigantic.